Papa's got a new bag of tricks. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. My lightsaber is my heart. I'm like a Care Bear that will punch you in the face with science. Seriously, bro. Door news and professional science presents. Last week it was record cold. This week, record highs are being broken in some parts of the east. The Ohio Valley is about to end the week very actively. Seattle, digging out after record snowfall. We are setting sail on a very soggy stretch of weather. And the reason that that is a concern is, of course, a lot of these rivers could easily burst their banks. Two to three inches of rain in a short span of time is never a good thing, even in a place that is completely dry. And we know that's definitely not the case across this region of the United States. So we've got a lot of concern with the excessive rainfall. But it really is amazing how much fell recently with this last storm system we actually had six feet of snow in 24 hours that was february 3rd that was the day of the super bowl this was at june mountain ski resort 72 inches which is exactly six feet of snow that fell in 24 hours scientists with west virginia university have found an unexpected ice age remnant in a desert in namibia the feature is called a drumlin. You can see the ice there in the background. We are going to see temperatures here climbing to around 50 degrees by Friday. But by the weekend, temperatures are in the 30s. But that cold air, oh yes, here it comes again. But this is a general map of how much snow has fallen so far this season. See, obviously, we've had a lot up in the Sierra, a lot in the Intermountain West. And, uh, you know, parts of the Great Lakes have seen just a tremendous amount of snow. 91 inches. Okay, so that's 26 inches above average. There is a new scale being proposed in the weather world and it has to do with atmospheric rivers. One that you may have heard of is the Pineapple Express and crews are rushing to repair damage at California's famed Pebble Beach Golf Course after a severe storm swept through. Now scientists have come up with a scale for deciphering which ones are going to cause trouble and which ones aren't. Mother Nature unleashed some serious fury this weekend in California giving residents an extreme wake up call. So it's got five categories, much like the hurricane scale, cat one being the weakest, and then you have cat five being the strongest. So let's go back to problems that we've seen caused by atmospheric rivers. At least five tourists died in one week in January in the Maldives, and that has prompted officials to issue a strong warning to resorts to keep a closer eye on their guests. And it was strong currents in the water that was responsible for a lot of this, made swimming conditions unusually dangerous. Winter storm Lucian has continued to snarl travel across the Midwest. Hundreds of flights canceled at Chicago's two main airports on Tuesday. And again, that's just a couple. There were many more cancellations at multiple airports. Numerous accidents to reports of crashes and rollovers. They just keep pouring in from more and more states. Kansas, Iowa, Minnesota, Illinois. The list really just keeps going and going. And this is going to be increasing throughout the day Wednesday. Here's a look at Lucian on the move so you can get a better idea of what you might be dealing with. We're really concerned about this, the icing threat. This goes on through Friday. As you can imagine, one of the most sought after items in stores right now is ice melt. It's so cold in Chicago, you could see it. For locals, the sea smoke simmering over Lake Michigan as the first rays of light shined on downtown was picture perfect. But for out of towners, this is the most beautiful part. I can see the being completely alone. <laughs> this is all brand new to me. Very interesting, isn't it? The intensity of energy is increasing, is increasing. You better be ready. You better be prepared. And you better be cool. Stay cool. God bless everyone.